Hey, you two. You just now stepped into Red Bone Fitness. Hey. All right. So, today's video, I will be um, talking about my homeschooling with my youngest son, Hassani. Hi. <laughs> okay. So, oh, this lightning is all bad. Come on, mamas. Let's get down. This is my baby girl. <laughs> I love her. Um, so we went to a homeschool program called, well, not went to, we signed up for a homeschool program called, um, education visions, I think, or visions education is one of those two. It's a really good program. It's very popular. Um, they even have a lottery pick. That's how uh, popular it is. So anyways, what I'm going to show you, oh, my value. What I'm going to show you are some of the things that we had to, some of the supplies that we had to get and some of the books that they, um, some of the, well, the curriculums that they, you have to choose. So we chose Bookshark for our curriculum and it comes with, I'm probably saying it all wrong, but anyways, um, it comes with uh, this one, this particular one came with all the subjects. So what what it is that they they give you is here. Let me show you some, one of them. It's a big old binder full with all his stuff, his subjects, um, language arts, and then there's history, science. Okay, so and then this is all his weeks of what he's supposed to do. Um, this history. So it's language arts, history. Uh, math, there's math with it, writing, um, there's all types of stuff that they have, <sighs> and they have this in here, so he has to, by the end of the school year, it's like, he has to damn near read the whole entire children's encyclopedia, and then also what we bought is this, look, it's already, it's already dirty, this is why I don't like it in here, um, this is a laptop that, um, you can get. You can rent one for a whole year for $300, or you can buy one for $800. Um, so what home vision, what the state of California, I'm thinking, or maybe it's just this particular program, they give you a $2,700 um, voucher, well, yeah, money, to buy supplies. So we bought that laptop, we bought his, um, his, all his subjects, and then we bought this so he can have this to play with all the supplies. See, we didn't even have to come out the pocket for it. And this is a hope. This is part of the uh, book chart. All these little supplies and videos. And I'm, you guys, I'm so sorry about the light in here. If it's too too dark that's uh, just how my house is i hate it and i need to get more light in here and this is my um my planner mm, this is my subjects and you know my teacher planner just give us something to do so me and his dad we go back and forth and they give you this beautiful tote so when you go out and this is his math subjects um this is a little supplies that we have gotten. We needed a lot of the stuff we needed. Glue sticks, markers. So he writes on here. Um, let's see. What else could I talk about? Um, it's a, a whole bunch of books when you get this pack. It's like a big old 50-pound box. It's ridiculous. It's heavy as hell. Um, let's see. But anyways... Um, they have, they have you, you have, meet up with a teacher. I love his teacher. I love his teacher. Hassani, come here. Um, she's very nice. She meets with us once a month just to see how far he's caught up. And look at my nails broken. Ugh. Um, just to see how far he's come along. Do you like your teacher? Yeah. She's my favorite. She's your favorite? Yeah. And don't get it twisted, you guys. They think people that are or children that are in homeschool, they don't interact with the other children. Yes, they do. His first meeting, 
uh, with the program. He met with all the homeschool, uh, all his homeschool classmates, I guess, you know, class, I don't know, but he met with them. Um, I guess it's the teachers, it's his teacher's students. So he met with her students. Oh, my hand is tired. He met with his classmates and they're young, smart. And, um, I just, I really recommend every parent to homeschool their children not throughout the whole entire years let them go ahead and go to um you know public pu yeah, public school but at his age he's learning stuff that kids are probably the age of like probably like in third grade like he's they're um they're teaching him how the earth turns um, in 24, it spends 24 hours, it rotates the seasons. They're learning about, um, he's writing, I oh mean, when we first started, okay, well, before all this, we kind of didn't, you know, how some people will teach their kids or their ABC, yada, 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 before they even go to school. Remind you, he did, he's five years old. He's never been to school. He's never even been to preschool, daycare, nothing because, you know, we don't vaccinate our children. Oh Yeah. Got to do another video about that too. Me and his dad, we decided not to vaccinate our children. The only reason why our oldest son has gotten into school is because I, when I was, when I had first had him, I didn't do my research on a lot of things. I was 19, whatever. And you know, I gave him his first month of shots. And then after that, when I started doing research, his dad was telling me about that, you know, just talking to his parents and everybody, doctors too, just getting my own research. I was like, eh, eh, no more. So I got, I got his, uh, his vaccinations, uh, exempt. So he was still able back in 2016 before, you know, before they made the law, he was still able to go to school. Um, uh, but Hassani, not nothing, nothing in the system, just nothing and anyways so the only thing that sonny has gotten was blood work <laughs> to get to see if his iron was good and that's about it oh i'm tired it's early in the morning anyways <laughs> i'm all off subject so excuse me but um uh where was i at so anyways um he didn't even he didn't even know how to spell his name he Barely could count to 10. By the first two weeks of um, homeschooling him, this dude is writing his first and last name. He's writing um, sentences now. He counts through 1 through 20. Um, he catches on really quick. Really quick and easy. Um, so it, it really teaches... It... it I recommend it. It's it's really fun too, and I thought it was hard, and it is difficult because it's something that you don't know how to do until you get the hang of it. Um, I'll give you an example. Let me give you an example. Okay, let me give you an example on. Let me give you an example on the language arts instructions. And, and you know what? Another thing is, I was be, we're behind on a whole entire week because I had to leave. And so we have all the way for a month to get caught up with everything. Not everything, like all your weeks, but to get caught up with that week that we're behind, including all the other weeks. So these lesson plans are for only four days, Monday through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is, you don't have to do anything. So it's it's really, eat, man, I love Bookshark. Um, I really do recommend it. It's popular too, very popular for his age though. But the only thing that they don't have is art. And he needs to do art and PE. So, yeah, he does art, PE, 
science, language arts, history, and math. Where am I not finding? Okay, so this is language arts. And you'll go to a better view. Language arts. All my personal stuff on it. Okay, I'll fix you some breakfast. And uh, I should have done. I should've. So you, uh, they'll tell you what to do and how to do it. Kind of this is this is kind of like common sense and stuff like that. It's really not that hard. It'll tell you what the little codes are that they have in here, and and that's for language arts and what you know items you'll need and so you'll go to the first week this is language arts and there's different subjects too you know um like i said before the the science and yada yada, yada. oh i need that and then you'll just follow day one day two day three day four day five is friday and there's nothing see it's man it's and the answers are in here so you have all all school year long all school year all and it's 36 and it does get harder and i asked his teacher like will he do this again next year because some of the stuff that they're teaching like i said is for third graders and it's just you're giving your child you and your partner giving your child one-on-one -on -one, like lessons is so much easier it's they learn better instead of being in a class full with 30 students and only one teacher like you don't understand like now that i'm older and i'm investing more in my children going to a public school and a one teacher to 30 students these kids are gonna lack in education I, that my opinion. They're they're going to. They either, I I think teachers should have there should be two teachers per classroom because nah, that's just ridiculous. Like it's just how could you anyways, but so I will do more um videos on my um lesson plans or how my class goes. <laughs> Um, I just, I just want to show you guys the basic things. And this is a 12 minute video. I try to not, I try not to make my videos so long because who wants to sit there and just watch me talk all day? You'd be surprised. But, um, next video, I will talk about, um, the shot records, um, talk about how, what we're going to do in class and um, so just little stuff like that. Yeah, stay tuned to my videos. Like, subscribe. My healthy lifestyle. So you guys get some tips on just, you know, anything. But catch you next video, okay?